Welcome to another Classic Car Club drive through Today, we're gonna to talk about a 2018 Freightliner MT45. Now, this is not just any normal uh, box food truck wrapped in vinyl with a couple propane tanks stuck off the back. This is fully custom uh, Shake Shack Shack truck. Most importantly, equipped with all the stuff uh, to make delicious burgers and other fine foods inside, uh, but a fully custom truck. It's it's a Freightliner MT45, massive Cummins diesel. It's 19 and a half thousand pounds, 22 feet long, custom built propane tanks under the floor for better uh, kitchen efficiency. This thing is fully equipped, ready to go. It's also got one of the only retractable uh, illuminated signs on a food truck. We're gonna check it out, see what it's like to drive, see what it's like to make some burgers. Inside the uh, Shake Shack truck, we're gonna uh, go through the best way to make a burger and make the best use of all this fantastic equipment you got. It's actually pretty standard equipment. The secret sauce in the Shake Shack burger is really in their kind of fine ingredients. Um, they do a smash style burger that gives maximum contact patch to the uh, grill. Gives you that nice sear that gives you all the flavor. Um, but pretty standard grill, nice and hot. We get up at 425. We got this trick uh, butter rolling thing to butter our buns. Keep it all nice and smooth. So let's do this. Take one of these carefully crafted Pat Lafreda patties, drop it on the grill, and then they've got this trick custom machine burger press. So we want to press it down nice, smooth, all the way down. So you get it all the way to make contact, pull it off, because if you were to try to lift, you'd pull the burger up with it, but that gets it nice, nice and flat, keeps it in contact with the grill for maximum grilling time. So we're gonna leave that for a minute, head over and grab a bun. Very particular about our buns here. We gotta open it up, just enough to get it open, but try to keep contact here. This is all about presentation. Give it a little roll, nice and buttery. Pop it off, I'm gonna get a little more contact in the middle there, smooth. And we're on the grill for a little toast. Look at that, we get a nice toasted bun, buttery, delicious. Once again, it's about how you approach the apex and your angle of attack. So we've got this really stiff, sharp scraper, and I'm told you gotta go in at a high angle and dig in hard to really get, get all that sear off the grill. We've got it all the way up now, give it a flip. Look at that. All that sear is where the flavor is packed in. No timers needed, drop a slice of cheese on there, and when the cheese melts, it's done. While we're doing that, we can go prepare our bun. So we got our sweet toasted bun, bun here, some shack sauce. This is the glue that holds it together. Design, structure, integrity, you wanna keep it smooth, just like when you're driving our cars. Three little dollops of that. We get a nice, nice lettuce. Ruffle side out, it's all about presentation. Drop that on, two slices of tomato. You also want to be able to see that and that's there, ready to go. Cheese is starting to melt, we'll give it another minute. L little trick, if you get to accelerate out of, the, uh, out of the cheese corner here, you can heat up your spatula, just drop it on the cheese and get that final bit of melt in. Look at that. Now, a good scrape again, make sure we get all that, all that sear. And we're done, the Shack Burger. Final thing, special wax bag drops in. And actually, I, I believe I might have not landed shiny side up. I think the official Shack Burger way is to uh, put the cheese on the other side, but you know, I'm in training, do my best. Let's see how we did. I think we nailed it. You know, keep working on improving my lap times, but this is a good burger. All right, guys, we've had a great day of uh, making some burgers, but now we, get a, now we get to drive it home, see what this thing's like to drive. So come on inside here. This is our generator control. Going to leave that on because we still got tasty ingredients in the back we don't want to spoil on the way home. Is your Ansel plugged and unpinned? If it's not, when you're driving down the road, you hit a big bump, your Ansel system is going to go off and you're going to blast the, uh, the whole back of the truck with the Ansel system and kind of make for a messy cleanup. So make sure that's uh, set so we don't, don't end up firing that off uh, unnecessarily. Otherwise, 
it's a pretty standard truck, you know? We got a handbrake, automatic gearbox, it's the area that I'm told uh, doesn't have that great a reception, so if you get a long ride back from your uh, day out flipping burgers, you might want to plug in your phone, bring your own tunes in. We got a tracker here just so, you know, the uh, bosses at the shack know if we do anything crazy, uh, hard stops or breaking the speed limit. So, you know, it's all, it's all pretty high tech, but I want to see what this thing's going to handle like. See how it goes. Ansel's off. We're not going to blow anything up. All right. We're fueling the power. So power delivery is smooth. We're nice and comfortable. I can see after a day of, uh, you know, cranking out some burgers, it's not a bad place to be. We've even got cruise control, so, you know, got to get back from a long day in the in the shack truck. I think uh, I think it's all right. Hey, we're not setting land speed records, but we got we got loads of torque, hauling up uh, 19,000 pounds of truck and a few pounds of burgers. Oh, a little speed bump. Nice, it's smooth. I think I, I think I might just get one of these things and live in it. I don't think I'm going to be taking this thing to the track this weekend, but for a big truck, it handles it handles pretty decent. Flat enough in the corners. We got some uh, got some sporty downshifts there. It's getting a little getting a little early on the uh, engine braking through that corner. So we're pulling back in in the uh, in the shack truck. I think uh, I think this thing is purpose built. You know, Shake Shack has built a nice machine here. It's got everything it needs, mostly in the back, but the right equipment up front to get there and back, and you know, do it in style, listen to some tunes, be comfortable after a long day of smashing some burgers. So I think uh, I think we're good. I'm in. Only if they'll hire me though. I think I might have skipped a couple steps in the burger, so I might I might not get I might not make the cut.